what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to get two free diamonds through the tops now moments drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 1700 subs and if you guys don't see the number at 1700 please be the cool guy girl that helps us get that much closer but before we hop into today's video we got to give today's comment shout out Shout out to my boy Michael, your comments on screen, bro. I appreciate you for being the first person to comment on yesterday's video. Now, if you guys want to be like my boy Michael and get a comment shout out, all you guys got to do is be the first person to comment on the videos. You guys have a chance every single day to do this because we upload every single day. So don't feel like you guys don't have a chance because you guys really do. Um, my advice to you guys is obviously you guys want to be subscribed to the channel, turn those post notifications on, select all. Uh, whenever YouTube notifies you that I upload a video, uh, click the notification, drop a like, drop a comment. And hopefully you guys are the first one so without further ado guys let's get right into today's video but before we hop into the video i just want to say happy fourth of july to everybody watching today's video i appreciate you man stay safe have fun i'm gonna be having some fun too so if you guys want to see what i'm we'll see what my night looks like um go peep my twitter my twitter is always linked down below in the description so please click that link give me a follow we'll be posting some stuff about how our night's going how my fireworks night's going and everything so if you guys are curious into that um, but without further ado, let's get right into the video guys so we have four diamonds we're going to be able to get two of them through the top now moments you guys see the four of them right there first and foremost i'm going to be giving you guys my prediction not my predictions my um, recommendations on what diamonds you guys should choose between those four as well so let's go through the moments first um your boy needs to get on his grind though i have not done these moments but i did attempt them yesterday and i failed it twice which kind of pissed me off so i just like i just like i'm just like i'm gonna make the video but i'm not gonna have it done which kind of sucks but it is what it is man so with miguel so on better in difficulty you gotta hit a home run on um, with Craig kimbrough you gotta win the game do not give up a hit on veteran this is the one i failed twice pitch six innings do not give up two runs in the fifth inning for some reason there was someone on base and they hit a two run home run on me twice i was just like man what the hell anyway so that's what you guys gotta do for here it's on rookie with vladdy jr you gotta hit a home run um it says playing as cat cassell win the game for the giants also just walk off the game pretty easy and then we got to strike out 12 batters using the Julio Urias. In doing so, completing all of these, you guys are going to be getting that top snow pack. Be able to choose two diamonds. But on top of that, you're getting nine, uh, 1,950 stubs. On top of playing those moments, you're going to be getting extra stubs and extra XP towards the program and then stubs for your inventory. So now let's go into my recommendations out of the four cards that you guys see right here. Which ones I would choose. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they go in this order. So I'm going to pair Urias with snow and then Cassell with the red split okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the cards because your boy doesn't have it yet so we gotta go to the market let's filter out to tops now so the first two cards we're looking at is this Julio Urias is the first one he is a starting pitcher has a four seam sweeping curve change up and a slider which honestly is kind of nice I like that repertoire he does throw hard too he has 89 stamina 90 hits per nine 100 strikeouts per nine I um, mean has 80 walks per nine with 87 control which is decent 73 velocity is kind of weird because he does throw hard but what's up with the velocity so low sds but he does have 99 breaks so that sweeping curve and that slider they're going to be have a lot of movement to them so julio urias is a solid solid choice he's going to be one of my first choices but he's going up against a powerhouse in miguel sano now let's take a look at him so he has 66 contact against righties and 60 against lefties 122 power against righties and 113 against lefties he does have 70 fielding with 74 arm, 72 reaction, and he's a primary first baseman. Now, honestly, just straight off the bat, this card is going to be perfect for Battle Royale. I don't know how well he's going to be doing in ranked seasons, um, but he can also play third, left field, and right field. But he has 70 fielding, so in secondary positions, he's already going to have 65 fielding. I don't know if you guys want that, but Miguel Sano, man, he does have a crap ton of power. And if you can get the PCI on the baseball, the baseball is probably flying out the ballpark if i'm being honest now me personally i need pitching and urias is my guy and you guys know i'm gonna be a little biased here it's a dodger player so i'm gonna be going julio um, but miguel sano is a solid choice as well um he has solid freaking power against both sides i mean my goodness like i said this card is gonna tear it up in battle royale but i don't know how much in ring season so i go julio for my first choice and then to the second choice we got between kurt because how do you pronounce this guy's name? Kurt Casali? Kis I apologize, bro, if you ever watch this video. And Tony Santillia. So now that we're here, let's go through Tony. So he has a four seam slider, change up two seam. Looks like he throws pretty hard with 90 velo, 99 break, 
but he doesn't have a lot of he has a two seam and a slider for movement so that's that's decent 79 control that's all, all, okay his per diner 88 91 strikeouts per nine with 81 stamina pretty nice though man tony santillian solid choice um i like that he has 99 break and i love that he has um 90 velo because you guys know i love pitchers who throw hard and tony santillian is can be that guy can be that guy now let's take a look at, at kurt casali casali so he's a catcher oh my goodness hold up hold up how how uh, how another catcher other than both their pros, you get a tops now moment. I guess this guy's playing catcher and he doesn't have a secondary position. But his stats are nice, bro. 91 contact against righties, 101 against lefties, 79 power against righties, and 82 against lefties, bro. 73 fielding, 69 arm, 81 reaction, 65 block. So the defense is kind of suspect, but the hitting stats are really, really nice. Um, let alone he cannot play a secondary position. Honestly, I'm going to take my boy Kirk Casale here whenever I get the pack. I uh, suggest you guys do so as well. But if you guys need pitching, take Urias, take Santillian, or take Miguel Sano and take Santillian. My personal two, like I said, is Julio Urias and Kurt Casali. I think those are the solid choice choices out of the four. Now, don't forget, guys, you're going to be getting all of these cards once the monthly award program drops. When this video drops, it's dropping on Sunday, 4th of July. Um, the monthly awards comes out Wednesday, so that's what Monday, Tuesday we have. In three days, we have the monthly awards, man. So if you guys have not done any tops now moments, you better get to it, man. You better get to it. I always say this every time I make this video: you don't want to be the person come the day the monthly award program drops, and you guys don't have your tops now moments done. You guys got to catch up on weeks on weeks. Like right now, I got two weeks to catch up on. I will catch up on it. I will get this done because I don't want to be that guy come Wednesday. Now, one more thing I'm going to leave you guys with. So, Team Affinity Season 3 was announced today. Um, I'm going to throw a tweet up on screen on what they said. We're going to be breaking it down. And we're going to be giving our predictions on what cards are we're going to be seeing in Team Affinity Season 3. That video will be dropping tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. So, be there, man. Everything Team Affinity Season 3 will be discussed in that video. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123, and I'm out.